This week in 3D Archery, I got another box in the mail. Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Archery, Greg here. Alright, Delta McKenzie Raccoon Target. I found it online while I was looking for a fox target for the club to replace the one we have. And what caught my, my eye was it was only advertised for $59.99. That's incredible. I mean, that's ridiculously cheap. Now, sales tax was another $6.96. Shipping was $9.99. For a total of $76.94. What a steal. Even with all that, $76.94. Why do I say that? Well, Delta McKenzie themselves sells this target for $92.99. But it makes you wonder what's going on here, because I found it on the Sportsman's Guide website for $89.99. Dix has it for $99.99. Found it on eBay for $109. On the Hunting Giant for $114.92. And finally, I found one on Amazon for $129.46. So you can see there's a big thing. But Delta McKenzie sells it for $92. I got it for $76. So somewhere, somehow, somebody had to take a loss on this. Alright, so, what is this deal? Well, let's take a closer look at the target. The raccoon is part of Delta McKenzie's Backyard Series, and the Backyard Series is simply just the targets they don't use in the ASA. The size of this animal, it's 18 inches tall, 15 inches wide left to right, and 9 inches deep at the waist. It has the ASA scoring rings. Right, and if you don't know what the ASA scoring rings are, it's similar to IBO. It's a little different. So you have your 8, then you have a 10, then you got the three ones in the center. One in the center, one above, and one in the bottom. Those are your 12 rings, and those are done by event. Sometimes they shoot the lower ones, sometimes they shoot the upper ones. And then, of course, you have the 14 up in the corner. According to Delta McKenzie... This target can handle field points, broadheads, and expandable broadheads. Delta McKenzie also states that it can handle arrow speeds up to 350 feet per second. All right, let's get up close and personal with this target. My initial impression when I opened it was, hey, not bad for $99. There are some flaws to it, and I don't think there's any flaw on a working target that would make me not like it. I'm just going to say that out there right now. You know, as long as it stops my arrows, I'm pretty happy. If it's not the most realistic, I don't care. You remember, you know, when we look at these things up close, people get real picky. But you're shooting it from 15, 20 yards away, so the detail goes away. Now, on this one here, I will say it does have some flaws on it. And the biggest one is on the mold marks on it. You're going to see running across the back of the head... And down the back where they had to cut it where it overflowed so much. And it's the same thing down in the front by the feet. You can actually see where the mode didn't line up. Now, making targets, I know why that happened. I'm just curious. Maybe that's why this was so cheap because maybe this didn't quit pass their quality control. I don't know. But that's the one flaw. And the other one is if you flip it on its side, there's no holes in it. So this target, when you sit on the ground, it just rests on the ground. And if you're shooting a high-powered bow with lots of speed and you're shooting it from a close distance, yeah, you're going to probably knock this baby over. With mine, shooting my bows, shooting at a decent distance, it rocks, but it didn't fall over. And that's pretty much it. There ain't a whole lot more to tell you about this target. Up next, let's see how this target compares against raccoons offered by other companies. The raccoon from Reinhardt. Now, this is the original one. They did come out with a later one, which I'll talk about next. I call this one the classic. It is 15 by 15 inches. They say it weighs 20 pounds. It has a replaceable core with multiple scoring areas. And on the core, it's pretty cool. You have the 8, 10, and 12 ring. The, to the left of that, they have a quartering shot, which has a 10 and a 12 ring on it. Now, there's also rings located all over this thing. You have two of them on the left and right side of the belly. Two of them on the left and right side of the throat, one on top of the neck, one on the forehead, 
and one on the back by the tail. Now this target costs $299 and the biggest difference between this and the Delta McKenzie is the foam. Reinhardt uses a totally different foam than Delta McKenzie. Reinhardt's foam is softer, it can heal faster, and I would have to say probably last a little longer. Reinhardt's Trash Can Panda. This is designed to be used on top of a trash can. Look at the front legs and they hook around the edge of the trash can. According to Reinhardt, it is 13 inches high and 19 inches in length. It weighs approximately 20 pounds. This target has no core. It also uses the ASA scoring rings, which is an 8, 10, 3 12s, and a 14. It's list for $209. The Raccoon from Big Shot Targets. It's 23 inches tall, features no core, uses the IBO scoring, which is an 8, 10, and an X, and you can find it anywhere between $99 and $116 online. Now, out of all the ones we're reviewing, this is the only one that's actually standing up. It's also got the least amount of detail. Now for the foam, it is a softer foam than what Delta McKenzie uses and it'll probably again last a little bit longer. The Raccoon from Long Life Targets. These targets can only be bought in the US through Custom King Archery. These targets are made in Europe. This Raccoon is 27.5 inches in length and 11 inches tall they say it weighs 7 pounds. The scoring only has an 8 and 10 ring on it. The cost is $173.95. The foam on these targets are closer to the Delta McKenzie. It's a little harder foam, better for broadheads, and not as soft as the Big Shot or the Reinhardt's. So it doesn't heal as well, but it can take a broadhead better. The design of it, yeah, the proportions aren't the greatest, but again, it more than gets the job done. All right, everybody, time for hits and misses. Up first is the hits. The biggest one is the cost. At 60 bucks, this was a steal. Now, I don't know if it's one-time thing or whatever, but I got a great deal on it. You know, for 60 bucks, I am one happy puppy. The other is it can take broadheads and expandable broadheads. You know, that, those of you that like to hunt, you want to practice with it, Here's the target that says it can take it. And the other one, is it's a nice size. It's not too small. It's not too big. Easy to take. You can put it in your car. You can just walk out, throw it in the yard, and then you can shoot at it. The misses. Well, the biggest miss is there's no replaceable core. So once you shoot this thing out, you either throw it away or you have to repair it. And the other miss is there's no stake hole on the bottom. So if you're, like I said, you're shooting up close, maybe the 50-pound bow, you're going to knock it over. And then you got to go sit it back up. But if you're shooting a lightweight bow and you're shooting a decent distance, not going to happen. And finally is the foam. Delta McKenzie uses a harder foam than the others. And that harder foam is so they can take broadheads. That harder foam also dries out faster. It doesn't heal as well. And we're not talking like a huge amount, but it is enough that if you shoot a lot that you're going to notice. And those are the hits and misses. I got three for each. And my final thing is, like I said, I am quite happy. $60 for a brand new target. It's going to look great on our range. So keep your eyes out there. Surf the net and look for it. If you can find a raccoon like I did, I'm sure you're going to be happy. Just like me. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the website, 3darchery.net where you can find a listing of 3D archery, regular archery ranges, archery clubs, competitions, competition bodies, and of course, targets by me, 3D archery. All right, everybody, see you next time.